technology companies. One of them is Nucleus Software. And what an up move the company, the stock has had post its numbers. Numbers came out on Friday. The stock went up 20%. It's followed it up with another 20% up move. It's a fresh 52-week high and the stock is up 150% since the beginning of the year. Now, the conference call is scheduled at 3 p.m. today. So that's when we'll get greater clarity. But the Q4 numbers look very strong. 22% quarter on quarter, 35% on a year on year basis. Margin expansion has been solid. 40% margin expansion. Just look at the previous margins for the company. They used to be 16%, 12%. In Q3, it picked up to 28%, but now they've hit 40%. And for the full year as well, the company has clocked in a good revenue growth of 25%, with uh, 27%, with EBITDA margins of 25%. eClerks is the other one. Now, here, all the excitement is centered around the new CEO and MD announcement, Mr. Kapil Jain. Now, up until now, eClerks' uh, top management were the promoters the founders. But now for the first time, they're going to have a professional CEO, Mr. Kapil Jain, who came in from Infosys. Uh, he was actually hired in the month of April, but that time the understanding was that he will be the UK subsidiary CEO. But now in the, you know, when they announced their numbers on Friday, he also they indicated that Mr. Kapil Jain will be the group CEO. So there is clarity on the management. The number two point about eClerks is the valuations are not expensive versus the rest of the pack. It's trading at 12, 13 times forward multiple. That said, the Q4 numbers of the FY23 4 gui guidance is quite subdued. The company was uncertain about hitting double-digit growth. In fact, they even hinted that Q1 revenues could see a negative growth, a decline in revenues in Q1. So they are facing a lot of business disruption. And that's what the street is worried about. But all hopes are pinned on the new CEO MD announcement, Mr. Kapil Jain, uh, for eClerks. Uh, Deepak, uh, any thoughts on Nucleus or eClerks?